I received a letter from the cloth workers company and they invited me to meet with them. They actually saw my work at the Goldsmiths Modern Silver collection um, and they saw one of my previous pieces, the Spiritus piece, and that was something that they were really drawn to. They expressed an interest in commissioning a centrepiece from me for their dining table and really they wanted me to be completely free in, in my design and not to be inhibited by any set parameters in the design brief. The original spark for the design came from an Eryngium leaf and its wild appearance. The Eryngium leaf just reminded me of a teasel and that's a symbol that's on the cloth worker's coat of arms. A teasel was once used exclusively to comb away all the impurities in a freshly woven piece of cloth. It was that kind of direct connection with the cloth worker's company which I wanted to incorporate into my design. And what I really love about this form is the way that the leaves just have this very kind of almost energetic explosion and this kind of almost life of its own. My ideas evolved through drawings, sketches and model making in paper. I wanted to have a play really just in recreating some of the graceful movements and the fluid movements of the Eryngium leaves as they kind of sprayed out from the centre. This way of working allows me to very quickly produce different models. I reached the final design through this model here and it's made out of multiple layers so you've got the bottom six leaves that form the base and you've got the second layer at the top made out of another six leaves and then you've got the tripod of, of leaves in the centre. This design was successful because part of the criteria of the commission was that the piece should really be able to be viewed from all different angles. Once I had achieved the design in paper, I then moved on to recreate the design in metal so that it could be seen on a more three-dimensional scale and also that would give the clients just a, a much clearer idea of how it was going to look in silver and to see the finish and the texture that was applied to the surface. When the cloth workers company expressed that they wanted the next Teresa Nguyen piece, what that really sowed was their complete confidence and faith in me as an artist and my abilities. It allowed my imagination to kind of really run and it's almost it kind of spurs you on to really um, develop your work in new ways and to really push yourself technically as well as to be more daring and adventurous in both my design and the realisation of the piece as well. Before I was approached by the Cloth Workers Company, there was a deep desire in me to actually create an inspiring centrepiece. It was really exciting because so I thought, yes, you know, this is a piece that I've, I've always wanted to make. So it just came at the right time where, you know, I had ideas always bubbling in my mind about what a centrepiece might look like. I find the work that I do very therapeutic, particularly when I'm hammering a piece as well and, and allowing the piece to kind of rotate in my hands. And it's that kind of repetitive hammering motion that it's almost that you allow yourself to be completely immersed in the work that, that you're doing. And almost everything out there, you know, is blocked out and you're just completely absorbed in, in the work and the hammering. And that's also at the time where ideas might just kind of flow into your mind and, and you just get a, a spurt of inspiration, whether it's about the piece or even another piece that you might want to develop. When you're making a piece for the first time, there's a lot of things that need to be overcome and problems that need to be solved, which can be very challenging, but also very exciting. And I'm constantly learning new things as I make and develop new designs. For me, sometimes making something that's organic can actually be more challenging and more difficult because it's got to really flow kind of almost seamlessly together. Once I start to open it out and it starts to take on this kind of almost three-dimensional life of its own that's when it starts to get really interesting for me and then I start to play around with the forms and, and the possibilities of what it could be. I try not to get attached to the pieces because ultimately I know that these pieces will have a home with the client and so for me it's almost that I get to journey with the client 
during this process and they get to journey with me during this process and there's a relationship there that's formed during this journey which I really enjoy and I feel really privileged that actually I can almost impart a bit of myself into a piece of silver and to actually know that that piece of silver is going to you know live on beyond my years and it's going to be there it's going to you know it has its own kind of journey really. The piece has taken a lot of time, a lot of patience, and it's been a real labour of love for me. It was over a period of nine months altogether. I spent about four months in the workshop just working from Monday to Friday, most days of the week, on this piece. It's been quite a journey in which I've been journeying with the Clockworkers Company in making this piece for them. As I was making the piece in silver, I began to develop a narrative for the piece. And so the reason why the leaves were so wild and, and dangerous looking, and it's almost as if the leaves were protecting something delicate and precious that was at the heart of the piece. I have a design of a trio of leaves, which inside holds a central bud, which I decided to gold plate, which are almost hidden inside these very wild-like leaves. And it's really to ask the viewer to take a second, third look and to really look deeper into the piece and to almost kind of see something that they didn't see when they initially saw the piece for the first time. One of the really exciting parts of the commission was actually the presentation of the centrepiece to the Clockworkers Company and to actually physically get to hand over the piece and actually see the reaction as well of the um, Works of Art Committee to the piece was really, really rewarding for me. 